What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Right, welcome back to AMI Live. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing alright today. We're back with another reaction video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to my Caribbean brother. Y'all don't know him, but I know him because me and him, brothers, right? You might be out. How y'all become brothers? His auntie and cousin is my auntie and cousin, but but we ain't really related directly. His uh, my auntie got called his auntie cousin, but his cousin got called my auntie great great grand auntie. But his great great auntie got called my great grand auntie. Mommy, don't ask me the whole logistics behind it. It is what it is. But if you guys need to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're gonna react to Young Don the Sauce God. And this one is, oh, this one is featuring Yo Yo 808. Too high to drive. I wonder what is he talking about? Hmm. Let's get into it, man. Let's, come on, let's get into it. So I was like, yo, we gonna have to see how this goes. So we pull out of the parking lot and Benji starts driving down the street. Mantis, breaking mad hard and jerking the car forward. And I'm like, yo, we got come tell good? Him. He's like. Yo, yo, use headphones. I was mad living with you. I couldn't sleep naked. Oh, yeah? Hell oh, yeah. Huh. I mean, you could have asked. What? what? <laughs> I think I walked into the foot locker and then got my size. It's like, well, you know, what's going on? You know, let's get these little slaves to work. Wow. Get them to work. Get their little hands to stitch up these shoes. I need some fresh Nikes. What are we doing? And then, like, crackhead strength. That crackhead immune system. Mm -hmm. Crack no kill you? No. Oh. Thing, Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crack up to you, boy. Crack make you stronger, boy. What a, what a what COVID gonna do, nigga? You got crack in your system, nigga. Facts. Can't do shit. What the cough gonna do, nigga? You cough more smoke and crack. Ahead, I'm not rapping. Facts. Hey, I don't know what it is, but listen, I'm, niggas who know, you know. Crack has stronger shit. You're not gone. You listen. Niggas be like, oh, I see a crack hat in the street. I'm, I'm smacking the shit out of him. Yeah, you can smack him. He gonna smack you back ten times harder. If you see a if you see a crackhead in the street, walk the next week. Straight up, walk the next week. Crackheads, they're strong, man. I don't know where they get. I don't know where the fuck they find this energy from. But these niggas strong as shit. Believe me. And I'm a big guy. And like, oh, y'all think I'm joking? Go find a crackhead. Let me know how I work with you. That nigga just spit it all up in the mic. <laughs> so this is the beginning of sophomore year of college, and by now a lot has changed about me since high school. One of the more notable things that changed was my stance on uh, recreational intoxicants, in particular those of the cannabinoid variety. We're talking about that herd. Grass, reefer, hash, Mary Jane. If you don't Bubble know, you don't know but if you do, you know exactly where this is gonna go. During my sophomore year of college, there was about a three month period where I was a bona fide herbal enthusiast. Every day, sometimes twice a day, I would elevate to a higher plane of existence. And because I was doing this so often, I started to get a little cocky. You know, I was like, hey, I can hang with the best of them. Bob Marley, Snoop you know Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, there is no... Young Don, your mother from Jamaica. You know if your mother see a small ganja, they'll cut ass, she'll put on your backside. No fuckery. Then, it's too high. Well, one afternoon, I was chilling on the couch in the living room of the apartment by myself. I was probably playing on my phone or something when I hear the front door open. In walks one of my three roommates, and for the sake of the video, let's call him Benji. Benji was a 6'10 monster of a guy, right? Just huge. And I say guy, but he was really a kid. He was only like 18 years old, and granted, I was 20, but he really felt like a little brother, even though he was five inches taller than me. He played on the basketball team and was an all-around great guy. Now, Benji was extremely passionate when he came to the grass. He was even more into it than I was at the time. So he joins me in the living room and tells me that he had gotten his hand on some cookies. Now, of course, oh, these shit. weren't your grandma's cookies. That's right? going bad already. Because allegedly, 
eating just one one of these cookies put you on your ass. Benji, then bro, you listen. One of the pause. Now you ever eat an edible? You eat an edible? You going to sleep high, and you still waking up high. You be like, whoa, when this shit going to end? Trust me. Like I said, I now consider myself a veteran herbal enthusiast. Uh, so I felt confident that I would be able to handle whatever this cookie was going to throw at me. So I reach into the Ziploc bag and I pull out a moon rock. It was dense with a rough texture, kind of looked like a rock, to be honest. It was about an inch, inch and a half wide. And just by looking at it, you knew that this was made with the sole intention of putting you on, on the moon. So Benji and I eat our cookies and just like that, a night that I would never forget begin. So we're sitting on the couch watching you take a minute to kick in. Maybe 30 minutes has gone by and I'm definitely feeling something, but to be honest, I was not impressed, right? I look over at Benji and just by the way that he was staring at the television, I knew that this dude was gone, bro. Yo, Benji. 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 Yo, it's good, bro. <laughs> bro, you're gone, bro. I'm, I'm so gone. You feel it? Uh, kinda. I don't know. It's not really hating me like that, to be honest with you. Really? You, you want another one? Mm, I don't know. I feel like I should give it like 30 more minutes. I don't know. Oh, okay. Can you drive? Mm-hmm. Trying to go get food? Um, I'm kind of hungry. So, feeling what I thought was sober, I grab my keys and we start to head to the car. It was only about a five minute walk to where my car was parked. But as we were walking, I noticed that it was becoming increasingly difficult to walk. It felt like I was dragging my feet through wet cement. The air became thick and everything around me started to pulsate. That bubble cut, cut. Around Hello. buildings. Everything was vibrating. And then, just call me Kid Cuddy, bro, because I was now the man on the moon. I turn to Benji, and I'm like, yo, Benji, I don't know if I can drive, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're already in the car. Goddamn. When did we get in the car? Bro, we've been in the car for like 10 minutes. Don't drive, bro. Wait. I was going in and out of the fourth dimension, bro. I was time skipping. So we're in the car and it's cold outside, by the way. It's like December. So we don't want to get back out of the car. Plus, both of us were now very hungry and there was an El Pollo local literally half a mile from the apartment. Like you could almost see it. It's like 7.30 p.m. It's kind of dark. There were cars on the road, but not that much. So, after thinking about it for a whole 30 seconds, I decided that we could make it. I back up the car and begin to make my way. Hold on, wait a minute. It just dawned. It, it just clicked on me. This nigga's 6'6". We went maybe... The young Don, you told us shit. ...one mile. When I realized that I had made a terrible decision, that I could not drive, bro. I was using Hold all of my... Pause. Let me change my battery. All right, cool. My, my camera's blinking like a prostitute. Many no faculties to just remember which pedal was the brake and which one was the gas, bro. Like, I was genuinely terrified, bro. I did not think we were about to make it to this chicken place, bro. I turned to Benji and I'm like, oh, we, we gotta pull over. He's like, oh, what? Why do we gotta pull over? Bro, I can't drive, bro. I, I can't. I can't drive. What do you mean? I don't think I can drive. It's too much. I don't think we're gonna make it. Bro. We've been in the drive through for like five minutes. Ah, uh, excuse me, sir. Can I ask yes, to the next window, what? please? What, what, when do we, when do we get here? I don't know. Bro, just drive up. Things weren't looking good, okay? I, I was, these, these moon rocks got me, bro. I couldn't, I wasn't functioning, man. So, we pull up to the next window, we order our food, pick it up. And then we pull around and park in a parking spot. My thinking was that we were just gonna sit in the car, 
we're gonna eat this food and that that would give me some time to just like you know come down a little bit that's what i was hoping for bro we eat the food bro i was uh, it was worse bro i don't know how it was worse i was sure that i could not drive anymore so first i was like okay looks like we about to be just chilling in this parking lot for at least the next like two hours right but then i remember that benji was 18. He probably had a driver's license hey benji yo what's up do you think you can drive I think so. All right, good. Um, here, come. I think you. I think you need to drive this home, bro. I don't, I don't think I can do it. Um. Okay. So Benji and I switch seats. He backs up the car, and we begin to drive home. It didn't take long for me to start second guessing this decision. Just by the way, dude was backing up the car. Things were already looking shaky, bro. But I didn't want to get back in that driver's seat. You feel me? So I was like, yo, we gonna have to see how this goes. So we pull out of the parking lot and Benji starts driving down the street. Mantis is braking mad hard and jerking the car forward. And I'm like, yo, bro, you good? He's like, uh, yeah, I just haven't done this in a while. So I'm like, okay, okay, just stay calm, take it easy. We just down the street, bro. We pull up to the first big intersection. This was gonna be the hardest part of the journey. If we could make it past here, we were good. What made this intersection so challenging was that there was no like dedicated turning lane. Like there was no green arrow to tell you to go. It was just a regular green light and you were gonna have to use your judgment to know when to turn onto the street so you don't run into opposing traffic. So we get to the front of the line, Benji pulls out into the intersection and we're just sitting, waiting for wow. an opportunity. A couple opportunities pass and I'm like, yo, Benji, you gotta go. The light's about to turn yellow. He's like, I I'm trying, I, I can't do it. The car's, the car's coming too fast, Benji, bro. Light's gonna change. After this car passes, you gotta go. We in the middle of the innocent. I'm trying, they're, they're not letting him turn. Yo, the light's yellow, bro. You gotta go. Don, I, I don't think I can do this. We gotta He's one of them. The light's about to turn red, bro. Just go. Benji gets out of the car and starts to walk around to the passenger side. Yo, yo. <laughs> Drive. The light what type of shit is this? Intersection and Benji is standing outside <laughs> my door. The traffic on the street we were trying to turn into starts to flow. Cars are honking and there is nobody in the driver's seat. Now I'm freaking out because, you know, this was a busy road. Like, cops were always on this road. And I was still on the moon, bro. I sober up. I get out of the car. I get in the driver's seat. And then I, I drive home. Bro. Leave his house still. To the apartment. I turn to Benji. I'm like, yo, where did you get your license? You can't drive for shit. Benji looks at me and says, bro, I don't have a license. What? I asked you if you know how to drive. You said you know how to drive. No, you asked me if I thought I could drive. I, I did. It's just a lot harder than it looks. Huh. Wow. Remind me never to ask you to do anything ever again. Feeling right, feeling nice. Wow. Another one where we bet you nice. Trying to make the sky every single That's crazy. That's crazy. That, that dude got out of the car. He's one of them. Who's panic? I have my little cousin, right? Um, they were trying to teach you how to drive, right? Listen to this. So they're driving down the street, right? And they're both to turn into the ER. So she see that they're not slowing down. And they're going towards their gate full speed. So at the last minute, her sister had to yank the emergency brakes up and, you know, stop the car. So they asked her, what happened? You were just going into the wall. I don't know what happened. I took my foot off the gas and nothing happened. So she was like, we mean took your foot off the gas and nothing happened. Of course nothing's supposed to happen. Did you press brakes? I suppose to press brakes? So my whole idea was, mind you, you know me, I'm laughing. I'm laughing this whole time. They are sad because they almost died, but I'm gonna laugh. So she's like, 
I thought once you took your foot off of the gas pedal, the car automatically starts to slow down. I'm like, where did any fucking logic or mecha any mechanical logic, whatever the word is, that made sense? You have brakes and gas. You telling me, you take your foot off the gas, the car's gonna slow down. So what the fuck, what's the purpose of brakes you thought the brakes was for? I don't know, I just thought the car was about to, she thought the car was gonna slow down automatically. <laughs> my evil sister's yelling and carrying on. I found that shit so funny. Oh, oh, oh God, say she took her foot off the brake. <laughs> oh, they wow. You really need to watch a couple YouTube videos, really and truly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Help your boy get to 1,000 subscribers. You always know we always rocking our life game forever and always. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed. Until we meet again, remember, the world is yours. Peace.